Hey everybody, this is definitely going to be on the ranty side here, but it's completely impromptu and more because I need to get it vented for my system than anything else. Hopefully we'll still be kind of informative though. So welcome to this random episode of Wandering in Darkness. Between the decline of certain subreddits in recent months and several comedic friends of mine who are seeking to start a community or forum which seeks to avoid descending into new age nonsense, I thought now might be a good time for me to vent some of my problems and concerns with the modern comedic and polytheistic communities at large. One of the main problems I have noticed is an increasing influence of new age ideology filtering in. One example I used was the type of person who comes to chemitism from places like TikTok, assured that all the gods are just manifestations of some Wiccan duotheism. This type of fluffy new ageism is especially clear when it comes to morality like with this modern push to play friendly with monotheism and other groups who not only historically oppose us, but still very much do in the modern day. Any basic research into chemitism and polytheism will reveal that there was no love in playing nice with your enemy, no turning the other cheek morality, and so on. No harmy none, so to speak. Other New Age tools that have no relevance to either Egypt or even spiritual truth in general are increasingly popular, such as the 15th century tarot card game, oracle and angel decks, and all such similar bullshit. People literally seek friendship and validation from the gods, who they say bake cookies with them, play video games with them, even engage in sexual or romantic relationships with them. These things not only poison the well for actual, actual practitioners, but who knows how many people it drives off because they either are not New Agey, or they feel like they are not, quote unquote, doing it right. Plus, how can we mention stuff like, the sun came out today, Ra really does love me, and I am on the right path. Like, no, man, the sun just came out. It's not Ra talking to you. This this is just that new age mindset. And I don't even know. I can't get, I don't want to get off on a whole rant on new ageism. So let's move on. There's a major lag of academic interest and effort in modern chemitism and polytheism. I don't even mean we have to accept something like Egyptology as a whole of knowledge of Egypt. I simply mean that we need to apply the academic mindset and energy to our practices and studies. People cannot even be bothered to do basic research for information before asking it to be handed to them. Even something as simple as the difference between Isis and Hathor or Ra and Horus. Like, just fucking Google it and you'll be able to, like, understand the basic difference between those as, as much. You don't just go asking people to hand you that information. Put in some effort. There is this pervasive laziness in a hand-me-everything mentality. Information is rarely cited or anything more than this is how I feel about the topic. And people post pictures of Egypt with no context or further information, not to help educate or inspire, but to rake in fake internet points. And sadly, it works really well. For me, of course, the biggest pet peeve with this is knowledge of Satesh, who we know has dozens of works illustrating his actual nature now, but most people still approach him as the god of chaos, even the comedics and polytheists. Hell, people are afraid to write the name APEP or say the word APEP, even though this is a best guess English transliteration of a dead language written in English and not the actual being's name. There's an adamant refusal to move beyond the past as well. Egypt was a place of great knowledge to be sure, but in some ways they were, and in some ways they were smarter than we are. In other ways, they were not. For example, they falsely came to believe the body must be preserved for life after death, which was not even an original Egyptian belief until we progressed into dynastic times. They believed authority figures were inherently divine and deserving of submission. There was no concept of anything like democracy. They believed the complete opposite of turning the other cheek to the point where I wouldn't even say we want to reconstruct Egyptian morality. Because we don't need to brutally slaughter and enslave our enemies or anything like that. You know, there's there's a middle ground between the Christian, Wiccan, New Age, turning the other cheek, harming none, and the brutality that could very really be expressed in ancient Egypt. I would say there is an unrealistic and even determined focus on reconstructionism as opposed to inspiration. We should not want a return to the old ways holy. We don't want monarchs and we don't want to be killed for worshiping the wrong god or anything like that we don't want to be enslaved for being the wrong type of person or anything like that we're not trying to we shouldn't be seeking to just reconstruct egypt nor should we be ignoring everything that they had to offer in favor of new ageism there has to be a balance there to be found there's also a very very obvious unfamiliarity with the basics that tie into the lack of academia that i mentioned for example, people seem to dive into this and start practicing 19th century occultism rather than anything Egyptian. 
Again, we need not reconstruct ancient ways, but we also need not throw the baby out with the bathwater. Another example is how ancestor worship is barely acknowledged these days in Kemetism and polytheism, from what I can tell, despite its central centrality to the understanding of the soul. So many people are convinced, surely thanks to the influence of occultism, that there was some one true religion of Egypt, most especially the Osiris myth. Thanks to monotheism and exclusivism, they cannot wrap their head around the fact that it was a pluralistic, henotheistic society with many competing myths, cosmologies, and etc. And that these were all seen as valid because we can't grasp that anymore from our monistic culture. Even when you see pictures of altars and stuff, they lack, lack even the most basic things such as false doors. And people cannot even be bothered to research the difference between basic gods such as Ron Horus, as I mentioned above. Possibly one of the worst things I've seen come into Kemetism is emanationism, monism, and soft polytheism. People now apply monism and monotheism back to Egypt, which completely misunderstands everything about Egypt's spirituality. There was never one god in Egypt. Not all came from one source. The gods were not just a manifestation of one force or being. Soft polytheism is literally just the term for monotheism with polytheistic skin. If one is a monist or monotheist, then more power to them. But I would look at the reign of Akhenaten to see what the Egyptians thought about such things. Something I'm not really going to dive into, but politics are also becoming so central to modern Kemetism and polytheism. I'm not even going to dive into this one here, like I said, but applying modern politics to ancient Egypt and the ancient world just does not work. For reasons that are very obvious, I think, if people were not too lazy to put in basic effort into researching these things. Finally, Kemetism and polytheism seem to have been overrun with a need for validation and instant gratification. People literally put in a few days of work and then are confused why everything hasn't fallen into place. They refuse to do even the basic research and expect everything to be handed to them on a silver platter. Places like the Kemetic Sub are overflowing with people seeking validation of their experiences from strangers. Most who are dealing with some or all of the problems we've been discussing here are seeking validation in every little event like the sun coming out and being a sign of raw. It's like I've always told people, these paths take dedication and time. You know, you should spend at least six months if a path interests you, practicing it and dedicating yourself to it and see if it works for you. Longer if it does actually work for you instead of abandoning it. If you're trying to find your patron, you should be willing to dedicate some years to that practice. It's not like you're going to decide you're comedic one day, reach out to your god, and boom, you have your patron, and boom, you get it, and you're successful in these practices. That's just completely unreasonable. It's this instant gratification. is just... That's not how it worked. <laughs> like these scrolling mindsets, these character limit mindsets don't apply to the ancient world where they would literally spend just night after night, like watching the stars move. Obviously this is a rant. I'm just going to cut it there. <laughs> Surely there are things I've missed, but to recap, my main concerns and complaints with modern chemicalism and polytheism are the influence of new ageism, the lack of objective and academic interest or effort, an obsession with reconstructionism, which ironically ends up missing the point more than grasping it, a lack of basic understanding and laziness to keep it from being corrected, the promotion of emanationism, monism, and soft polytheism, applying modern politics to the ancient world, and the need for constant uh, instant validation and gratification. Anyways, thanks for listening to this rant. Catch you guys next time.